Hey YouTube, Jen here from Jen's Baby Story and I know it's been a while. The last video I uploaded was about a month ago and that was our gender reveal video when we found out that we are having a little girl. We were super excited and we can't wait um, to meet our baby girl at the end of August. And um, since last month, since finding out the uh, gender of our baby, I have been doing a little itsy bitsy shopping here and there, along with my husband as well. He bought his first dress for our little baby girl last weekend. So I'm here today to kind of give you guys a mini haul of some of the clothes that we have bought for our little girl so far. Um, before I get to that, just a really quick pregnancy update. I am now 20 weeks uh, pregnant. I'm 20 weeks and two days pregnant now. And uh, yesterday we had our 20 week anatomy scan and baby girl is perfect. She looks great. She's very active. I've actually just started to feel her moving this past weekend. And the other day I rested my hand on my belly and I felt a little tiny kick. And ever since then, I, whenever I do that, whenever she's active, I put my hand there and I can feel her kind of tapping against my hand when she's moving about. So that's really exciting um, to feel that. And I also feel that when I'm active, when I'm going to work, when I'm moving around a lot, if I try and speed walk or anything like that, she literally will let me know it's time to slow down, you're walking too fast. And so I'll start to get this kind of uh, pressure in my lower abdomen, in my pelvis area. I feel this pressure and it lets me know that I need to slow down. If I don't slow down, it will continue. If I slow down, it will stop. And so I feel like that's my daughter telling me that she does not want me moving so fast. I'm making too much uh, of a ruckus in my belly. She's moving around and, and being tossed around too much and she doesn't appreciate it. So I need to slow down and walk slow. So that's a little bit annoying to me, but it's okay. Um, I, I listen to her and this will probably be the only times during my pregnancy where I'll let my daughter tell me what to do, but when she's here, it's going to be the other way around. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'm 20 weeks. Um, nothing much has changed as far as how I feel. I still don't get nauseous. I still actually am having a fairly great pregnancy. I'm. Uh, I just am tired very easily. Around 7.30 p.m. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, and I actually teach and I teach in the evenings a lot. So it gets kind of hard when I'm out at work because I can feel it coming on. So as soon as I get home, which can be anywhere from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the evening, as soon as I get home, I'm ready just to jump into bed. But those days when I am home, like today, I will definitely be in bed by 8 o'clock for sure um, and I may not fall asleep right away but I definitely feel that I need to just lay down and just relax because I'm not the type of person to take naps in the middle of the day and maybe if I took naps um, in the middle of the day I may not go to bed so early I don't know I, I need to experiment with that to see if that will really work for me uh, and help so that I can go to bed a little bit later but why do I need to go to bed a little bit later I think Getting in bed at eight o'clock is totally fine as long as I can do it. My husband does not agree with this at all and makes fun of me for it because he is a night owl. So he goes to bed very late. So I guess he hates when I go to bed so early because I'm not around. So it's kind of like just hanging out with the cat and the dog, which I'm sure is probably fine. They enjoy uh, his undivided attention in those hours. So it works out. Um, so sleepiness, definitely fatigue for sure I have. Um, and I'm just getting bigger and bigger each week. My belly is just getting bigger and bigger and people are now starting to notice that I'm pregnant. I'm still in the stage where people can't tell if I'm pregnant, it's like a question. Does she have a big fat belly or is she pregnant? <laughs> so I do feel like I might get those looks occasionally. So I do let people know that I'm pregnant and then they're like, okay. Um, and 
shortness of breath definitely happening and I think that's about it uh, oh I have never had allergies before and now I totally have allergies I'm constantly sneezing my nose is constantly running the mucus buildup is real <laughs> Um, so I definitely have to carry extra tissues around now, little packs of tissue. Um, and in the mornings it's pretty tough. I'm sneezing like crazy. Mornings and evenings really. Um, I definitely think it is all, has a lot to do with my pets. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that it's not, uh, some sort of message to me that the baby might be allergic to the pets when she's here. I hope not. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think definitely pet dander and stuff, even though I clean and vacuum and dust as much as possible because in general I don't like having it around, but you can't get every bit and our pets love to hang around us. So uh, I definitely know that when I'm playing around with the pets a lot, it definitely will um, enhance the allergies. Uh, but in general, that is pretty much it. Um, pretty cool for now. Second trimester so far so good, and uh, I am enjoying just watching my belly grow, feeling my baby move. My husband hasn't really gotten to feel her yet because every time it happens, he gets to me too late, but I'm hoping that he'll be able to feel her moving very soon. But he did get to see her moving during our scan yesterday at the doctor, and he found tons of joy in that. He was very happy to see her on the screen moving around during our ultrasound. So that was great too. Um, she definitely showed us her butt a lot. Um, she was flipping all around, moving side to side. I also had another prenatal appointment on Monday and um, we were listening for the heartbeat and the doctor was also following around because she kept moving a lot. So she's very, very active, which I'm very happy about. So that's my update. So now let's get on to the haul. So if you guys are not very interested in just seeing the clothes that I bought, that I'm gonna tell you now, the next five minutes or so are just gonna be about the clothes that I bought. I'm just showing you the clothes that I bought. That's it, and just letting you know where I got them and just sharing with you because I think they're adorable and I love them and I wanna share. So first things up, this is from my first time going shopping. So I have three bags here, plus I have a box of clothing that I got, plus I went to the New York Mommy Con a few weekends ago and I got a big goodie bag full of stuff. But I'm not gonna show you all that stuff, but I'm gonna just show you some of the clothes that I thought was amazing. So, first is Old Navy. I went to Old Navy, and I'm trying to be careful with the clothes that I buy. So this is zero to three months. So I know that in the first three months they grow really fast, so I have to just be careful with buying any of that kind of stuff. Plus we also have our baby shower coming up, so I gotta kind of slow my roll. But this is another zero to three months little outfit here. And these are Old Navy. Um, I think that's all I got from Old Navy, is it? Yeah, that's all, just the two outfits from Old Navy. And then I went over to Macy's and got a few things from the Carter section. So we have this set here. So I love, love, love Carters, and I love how they have the sets and multiple outfits in like one package. So we've got this little outfit here, and then when you flip it around, you also got um, some little pants and, and a shirt and a matching hat for both of the outfits. And this is for age three months. Yeah, three months. Another Carter se selection. These are two cute little dresses. I'm trying to stay away from a whole bunch of pinks because in general I'm not, I don't really want her to be wearing a lot of pinks. I'm gonna wear a lot of neutral colors and just a lot of colors. Um, but this is another three month set here. Then this is a newborn set that I got. So there's a bunch of outfits here that says, Wild About Daddy. Then the rest of these are just prints. So, and these are all super cute. And these were, oh, also all these things were 40% off when I went. 
So this original, this is a newborn set and this original price was $15.98 with 40% off. I don't know what that was, but I did not spend a lot on these things, let me tell you. Here's another outfit, this is three months. So I guess this day I made sure to get a lot of three month stuff. And then I have a bunch of newborn stuff. And then this is my last newborn pajamas. So this is that day. <laughs> I went to Macy's and Old Navy and got this stuff. And then another day, I found where my local Carter's was and I was so happy to find it. And they had a door buster sale. So I got three these three pairs of tights. And by the way, everything I've gotten here was on sale. I have not bought anything full price. I'm only getting on sale items. So I got three of these little capris. This is 18 months. Yeah, these are all 18 months. And I thought they were cute patterns. Oh no, this one's 12 months. And these two were 18. And I thought these are super cute patterns. Um, I got three bibs. These are like $3 each. Daddy loves this girl. And I also got some mittens. My friend told me to make sure I have tons of these because they end up scratching up their faces a lot. The nails get really long. This is a 12 month jean dress. I figured I get this and then she can wear these with tights underneath. And this is another three month outfit here. It's a little butterfly on the butt. Super cute. Three months. Here's some PJs, two sets of PJs. Again, three months for this and six months for this one. Super cute. And all this is from Carter's, from one day where I found a Carter's and went shopping. And then another day when I was over at TJ Maxx looking for some things, I picked up a couple of items. I got some little barrettes. This was 99 cents. I saw these little booties for $4.99 and then I got this little throw for $8. I thought this was cute. Um, and I'm gonna show you the dress that Daddy bought, which I forgot to bring over, but I wanna make sure you see that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with part two of the clothing haul. This is what Daddy bought, 12 to 18 month dress. This is his very first purchase. He went to Children's Place, and it comes with a little headband and this little dress. And Daddy loved it, and so he bought it for his little girl. So that was his first outfit he picked out for her. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you. I wasn't gonna show you before, but I figured I'll just do it. My bestie in Florida, she has five kids and just had a girl. She sent me, or she actually sent Zoe her very first package ever. So I'm gonna show you guys what she mailed her. And by the way, her name is Zoe. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but her daughter's name is going to be Zoe, or it is Zoe. So she sent a lot of newborn stuff uh, because she just had her baby in January. So she sent a lot of stuff that she either didn't get to wear or just gently used. So we've got this little tutu in tights. Um, we have some PJs. It's a little onesie. It's a little onesie with a hoodie. And I love these little, I don't know what they're called, but you know, the baby gets wrapped up in it. You zip up their little feet in here and everything, and they're just nicely wrapped in here. So I love that. Then we have this little red dress with hearts and also comes with a little cardigan which is so tiny and cute. I found this place online where you could take the baby clothes and send it to them and they'll turn it into a stuffed animal so I definitely think down the line I'm going to do that um, for our little girl. Then this little dress with these little diaper panties, <laughs> I don't know what you call those, uh, this little romper that comes with a little headband. And we've got some more onesies, just 
uh, an assortment of onesies. So these are all really, really cute. And I just can't wait to take pictures of a baby girl wearing all these outfits. So definitely the first three months, she'll be very fashionable. Um, she's got tons of clothes. And I will just definitely take advantage of my Twitter account, which I neglect, and post it so you guys can um, check out all these outfits in action. Here's some tights she sent as well. And all these things are zero to three months, newborn to three months. And then the last little outfit is here. Comes with a matching cap. Oops. So, a little girl is set for her first three months. And um, I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna really show you everything in here, but there's this giant bag I have here that I got from MommyCon. And, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I got. I got, let's see. I got this little, these little things for down the line, spoon and, Fork from Replay. Uh, I got a bunch of bottles. I got this glass bottle. I am exclusively going to be using glass bottles for our, our girl. Um, but you know, now that I have these free little freebies that I got from MommyCon, I'll use those. But we will be purchasing glass bottles for sure for her. Um, it's just you know personal choice for me um then we got this is all from the goodie bag guys it was a great bag got a bib with a spoon and this is a travel bib so you see there's a little zipper here so i can fold the spoon and the bib into this little pouch uh and carry in here and here's another bib that i got this is made of silicone uh i got a bag a bag of huggies package of Huggies, uh, a package of Baby Wipes, um, let's see, what else, um, and just like a bunch of like random things, um, but I entered a contest and won these, which I love the most, which are bibs, and they all say different things, we've got Ready For My Selfie, BOTD, Bib of the Day, there's a nap. There's a nap for that. <laughs> Hashtag flawless. So I thought this was cute. So I won this at a raffle at the event. So those are the good, best things I got. Um, I did get a couple of pacifiers and a couple of those um, pouch toppers. Um, so if I want to make those little pouches with um, like pureed food and stuff, I can put these on there. So that'll be handy. Um, I got some food samples and some pens and some, you know, other swag stuff, but uh, swag. Um, but that's it. So this is a lot of stuff that she's already, she already has. We haven't had a baby shower yet, um, or anything, but you know, we're slowly accumulating things. I also purchased a few books for her as well. So her book collection is growing. Um, we are slowly cleaning out her room, which used to be my husband's man cave. He has since he has moved out in the past couple of weeks and we're slowly cleaning out that room um, removing some of the things that are in there and starting to set up the nursery so later down the line I will show you guys the before and after pics of what the nursery will look like and the things that we'll be putting in there um, and the next video I think is going to be about breast pumps. So right now I'm researching breast pumps, trying to figure out which one I'm gonna get. Luckily my insurance will pay for my breast pump. I just need to pick the one I want. So I've been researching and I'm actually gonna go down to the place where I have to order it from and kind of just get a demo of the ones that I like. Right now there are two that I have in mind, but I will kind of go over that stuff in another video because this one's been pretty long. So if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. I know a lot of you send me comments sometimes and I appreciate all of you. It just takes me a while to log in. <laughs> so it's not like I'm getting an overwhelming amount. I just don't log in all the time. 
but I do respond when I do log in and I appreciate you guys. Um, and thank you so much for your support and um, being a part of my journey and just kind of like following what I've been going through the past couple of years. And um, make sure you follow me on Twitter so I can share some photos there with you. And when Zoe is here in the world, there will be tons of photos on there. So I'd love to share those with you guys on my Twitter account, which is always at the bottom of the screen. You always see it throughout the video. Anyway, guys, until next time, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye.